escorting me. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. I was afraid to tell anyone. Lily was becoming a Chantry priest. She's taken vows. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. I won't give Lily up for anything. There is something else. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily, all gone. That makes it so much worse, doesn't it? Not knowing how much you have lost. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. I saw the document on Grego's table. It authorized the right on Jowen, and Irving had signed it. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. The joy of helping a friend? The satisfaction of knowing you prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. You'll be out of here and gone before they can even dispatch a messenger to the city. You're talented and clever. You could take your phylactery back from your hunters if you wish. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. I suppose that's fair. But please, give us your answers soon. Time is running out. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? When he is ready. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. 
You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Lily should know better than to tell Jowen, though it is difficult to fault her actions. The Templars and priests should have been more discreet around her. But there is no point in assigning blame. Jowen knows, and nothing can be done about that. Gregor says he has proof, and eyewitness testimony, that Jowen has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? And I suppose his lady friend is involved? Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending rite if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. If you want to survive, you must learn the rules, and realize that sometimes, sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? Then do this. Learn the plan, and offer to help carry out their scheme. With solid proof of their crime, we can act. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well and your dedication will be rewarded. Are you going to help us? Really? What? Of course not. I never use blood magic. I've been sneaking around to meet Lily in secret. Maybe others have seen me and assumed I must be doing something forbidden. I suppose we are, but they think it's blood magic and it isn't. Blood magic lets mages influence the minds of others. What if someone used it to control a king or a grand cleric? Magic must serve man, not rule over him, remember? The Chantry fears this above all else. That's why the Templars, Gregor, will pay attention to a mindless rumor. So, have you decided? Thank you. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, 
But there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stock room will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. I'd go with you, but it would look suspicious. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you have something to say, don't keep it to yourself, just post a comment. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Goodbye.